guys today we got you a video on swapping no not swapping but a big break upgrade on a third gen camaro or oh, third gen firebird whatever third gen third third gen uh, f body using a fourth uh six gen uh six uh two four piston front caliper this is a bracket from uh scott this is an old bracket this is what i used to mock up so this is an old bracket that uh jay stripped it so i use it now as a mock-up you can use this for this will be the passenger this is the passenger spindle so it's top passenger because this is the top and the bottom i should have put front and back right but it will work and so when you do your pat your driver all you have to do is flip it now that will be your driver's side so you'll you're gonna drill and tap this one and this one you're gonna drill all the way through because the bracket is tapped so on this side the 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 boat will come through the to the top and the boat for the back for the bottom will come through the back of the the, the, the spindle and this will uh, this is where the caliper mount and this is where the caliper mount so you have to cut here and do a nice trimming so you can get your socket in there to tie it down because i believe it's a fucking it's a fucking uh 18 or a 19 it's a 18 or 19 uh a boat so now okay what you do is just top side right but on the caliper you're gonna face it down and the caliper goes down my bad these you have to go this way so what you do you, this is your your caliper is gonna mount so what you're gonna do if you have somebody that can help you out with a cnc or anybody with a mill you know they can mill it out for you what i do is use the flappy and just is gonna trace around here oh give me that marker and i have to hurry up because the battery is about to shut down but all you have to do is just go around here and that's so they can lay flat all you want to do the bracket to lay flat so you have somebody with a cnc or a mill that can do it for you and the thing with the mill and the cnc will be faster than the fucking flappy but all you want is that much you just want it as flat as this and that's how much you're gonna take off your caliper for the front for the whole for the front kit passenger and driver's side so i'm gonna bring it back let me change the battery on this shit all right, right bringing it back in so i'm gonna do the rough cuts i'm not gonna drill and tap yet yet oh i forgot it goes like that this is pa top passenger on it we need a permanent marker that shit don't stay Okay, so I'm gonna do a rough cut. I'm gonna cut straight down here. Here, give me that marker again. With the saw saw. I use the saw saw and then I bring it back with the sharp, uh, the sharpie, the fucking, uh, the, the fucking, uh, fucking saw, the fucking grinder. I don't know why I'm having technical difficulties right now. slice and slice that be for the bottom not for the top just want to here and we're gonna go up here to that we're gonna try to bring it down too because i don't know how much clearance we need for the boat see because of the well i think we're gonna have enough it's gonna be like that because this is where the boat goes for the caliber same thing here this is where the boat goes for the caliber but from the back side so you need clearance so we're going yeah we're going to probably just go straight down right there like that so we're going to start the cutting 
Fireball is gonna keep you on camera. We try to show you guys as much as we can, but the videos be stupid long. And I don't know, I, I know y'all don't be watching those fucking videos that long. So we're trying to do 20 minute videos. So you might not even see this shit and I'm still talking to you now, I might not see in it. All right. You want to take it on more? No, because there's nowhere to grab it. Okay, we're going to trim it like that. But then I'm going to come with a grinder. With and the make, Yeah, with the flappy and hook that up. The thing is, I don't want to cut my vise. So we're going to... This one. Let me go straight down. You want me to go on this one? No, nah, right there. Okay. Okay. Nope. That's too much grab. Have to go at this angle. are the rough cuts right here the thing is the more you cut with the salsa the less you got to cut with the grinder you know that these love to explode on you and the flappy disc so the more you fucking do with the salsa the less you have to do with the fucking grinder so. okay Just a tap it right there because it's not centered. Look at straight up. See how the boat is not centered? So we're gonna have to bring it. Look at the light is right there. See? You gotta bring it because of the light. But the boat is not centered because we have to grind right there. It'll help it. I think I have to go a little bit further up right here. But you can see, we already grind everything. We made it smooth. No, there's no cuts. You're not gonna cut yourself. So, 
we're almost ready to fucking uh start uh what you call it uh tap and dye this one and this one we're gonna have to drill all the way through but let me bring this one down a little bit There, you don't want to distort this one. It has to be right there. See, on this. Side. Right there. There you go. Far up. Yeah, looking at this one. Now it's I can move it anywhere. So now let me just trim this one a little bit more. I don't like it. Perfect. All right. Okay. We already drill this one. This one is straight through. And this one you're gonna drill until it stops. The thing, it's gonna if it grabs, it's gonna kick you, and that shit will twist your fucking wrist. So what I do is put it on my titty, like that, and we just start very slow. Yeah. Right away, it starts cutting. Just let it, let it do it. Just let it cut. Let it do it its own work. You don't have to press down. You don't have to do nothing. Just let it cut. Very slow. Because if it grabs, it's gonna twist the shit out of your hand. Put some more juice on it. Make sure you got some high quality uh, cutting shit. Cutting uh, juice. Just let it cut. Let it do its own thing.
I'd like to have faster to go fast. And then start cutting again. Some more juice in it. bottoms out you're gonna know it when it bottoms out because it touches the metal of the, the actual casting because they don't drill all the way in there now we're gonna tap it but we got to clean all these shavings look at the air This one, this one is through because the boat comes through the back. Uh, Scott sent these untapped. You can see they're not tapped, so I'm gonna have to tap these myself. There's, it's not a biggie, but uh, you know. So let me start tapping here. Are you not No, I already did. bottom boat is gonna go up my bad there you go like that so that's your top and your bottom boat is gonna come through the bottom we need to go a size bigger size bigger and we gotta tap this one so let's go size bigger on the bottom We went a size bigger. That's your top boat. And your bottom boat is going to come through the bottom. But now we're going to tap the bracket. But I wanted to show you before we take off the, the spindle. So we're going to tap that boat on the bracket. Uh, we're going to uh, fucking uh, clearance the caliper. Remember the little thing we had to clearance the caliper with. And she will boat right up. On this one, we're gonna put a washer so it can go all the way down. We're gonna torque it, uh, and that's about it. So we're just gonna, we're gonna fucking, what you call it? Uh, tap this one. So it has to, it's gonna go this way. So you gotta flip it upside down and tap from this, this down. Cause if you do the other ways, you don't have a reverse thread. This is gonna tie this thing down instead of this way down. So, put this one that way. And then, gonna mount this one. Let's see a good way to mount this one. We don't wanna distort it. But we don't want it to move. Right. Put some on the little juice. From the start. Cut. 
setting. A little bit of more juice. And this one you're gonna go all the way through. lockers we're gonna th put some thread locker clean these up with a uh, brake cleaner and torque them down and then and i'm gonna start the modding on the fucking um caliber so we bring it back in oh. all right so i started cutting remember i did the, the line i drew the line so that's how much i went in deep with the Cut off wheel. I'm not. We're not recording this because of that was over there cleaning and getting that ready. The thing is, we're running out of light and we need to finish. And we still got to do the other side off camera. So I'm gonna bring it back. Now I'm gonna cut that straight line and it has a little bend at the end. So I'm gonna bring it back and then we're gonna finish it off with the flappy to get it flat. All right. It's already trimmed, shaved. Uh, what I found better is just to use the cutting off wheel instead of the flappy disc. Because the flappy disc to this, you know, it went farther than what we need. The cutting disc just went straight. And did the, the nice cut right there. See that? Nice cuts. You can see it has a little bit of play. And wiggle room. That's how it's going to bolt through the back. That's the one we're gonna tap. That's the one we did tapped. And that's the one that uh, you did both this way. So, you should have. You should have. This one going this way, like that. And then you're gonna have one coming this way, like that. Tapped into this way, like that. So we're gonna lock tight. I'm gonna shave that. Okay. I'm gonna have to uh, shave that, he said. So, that's it. Oh, let me show you. Back. And that's it right there. See, we did a nice one. Uh, the grinder went a little bit too deep there, but doesn't really matter because it still has this flat. And this is flat so all right that's it for the caliper we're just gonna mount that and then mount it to the car all right so we put a wash on this one it's already locked tight we sorry are light top this one remember it goes through the bottom we're just gonna shave this so it can be as flat as the, the bracket if not that's gonna teeter totter the, the caliper so i'm gonna bring it back all right, shave nice and flat. So now the caliper it mounts like that. See? Got it in a good video. Yeah. Mounts like that, and that's the end of it. So now we're gonna mount the no, 
we're gonna paint this but we're not gonna paint it we're just doing primer so it can dry fast because we gotta mount it on the car uh it's just so the the bracket won't rust because it's steel and the cuts so they won't rust so we're just gonna primer it and uh i have to remove the old one the old spindle and the old strut so he got a new strut in and and the new spindle so i'll bring you back so right now we're taking off the fucking the tie rod enough thread on it you just want it to pop you want to not that much you want to leave a little gap so they can jump not jump but uh, land on it here's when you're gonna whack 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 far away then make sure uh that fucking nut doesn't screw all the way up because you're gonna be fucked the spring pops does it want to pop the thing is i don't want to use a pickle fork because it's gonna destroy the the, the fucking ball joint boom that mm -hmm. okay i'm trying to get the bottom so when it drops okay now we're just gonna put a little bit of pressure on the control arm If you was only change your spindle, this is the only thing you will change. But we changing the fucking strut too. Put in the AGX. primer the the spindle because we don't have time for the paint to dry we just don't want nothing to rust so primer will do and then uh bad boys gonna get up there and uh loosen the strut hope it don't spin sometimes the motherfuckers like to spin ready go spinning go my strong grip this is a kung fu grip okay now we got the agx no here we have an agx going in there it's a uh, it's a four-way adjustable we use these all the time we are about to run out of battery so we got to do this fast
Just hand tight it, that's fine. All the way, all the way hand tight. Until I grab the rubber. Until you grab the little seat. Yeah, because it's gonna, if you try to tie it down right now without the pressure, it's gonna spin because the, the fucking, the, the, the nut is a lock, locking nut and it has that uh, fucking plastic on it that's gonna make this shit spin. So, You can lock them down anyways. Uh, car is gonna get an alignment after it leaves. It has to go to exhaust alignment. Once it leaves from here, so they will take care of all that. So you can just lock it in, set it, and forget it. Ugadugas, that was one, two, three. Oh, bitch. We need two more on top. All right. Now, we're going to do the bar joint boot. love to spin too. Okay. They love to spin so best way is to battery it's the third time we switch batteries on this shit the heat will kill the batteries on these gopros so and it's hot as fuck as in california check out my back look at my back it's all burnt up uh but all he gonna do right now is put in pins lock them in uh we're gonna i'm gonna change battery and i'm gonna bring it back because we have to uh do all new uh bearings for the hub we don't like using, we, we're using bearings here. So we're gonna put on new bearings for the hub and uh, the caliper. We're gonna see if it needs shimming. And that's about it. But let me bring in a new battery. All right, we got a new bearing in there. All new bearings. That was right there. Just putting the, the grease into the hub. Now I mount the caliper. I'm gonna mount the caliper and then the no no the rotor then the caliper. Rotor is on. For the rotor you have to use a Corvette uh Z the Z51. What is it? I'll show you right now. Z17. Z17 rotors off of a Corvette. Because I bought the 2016s. Those are the 2016 Merrells. But Scott said not to use those because of the hat stuff or the whole stuff. The whole, the diameter here. You have to make it bigger. Something like that. And the hat is bigger. Something like that, Scott said. So he Scott wanted Z what I told you? 
Z17 off of a vet, the 20, 2016, 2017, 2018 vet. Rotors. It's in Scott's uh, description on his when you buy it. Uh, now we're gonna mount the, the, the caliper. Where the boat? Proper clearance on both sides for the pads so one of the pads won't stick. And that's it. Uh, get the size and torque it. <laughs> and that's it. There you go. Wide shot. It's 2016. Uh, six gen. You can say six gen. Uh, caliber Corvette uh, rotor. And that's it. That's the big break. Remember the, the the bracket and hub is supplied by a uh, big brake kit, Mr. Scott. Uh, calipers were from eBay. Uh, rotors for were from eBay too. I'm gonna try to put everything on the description, you know, like the calipers and the fucking uh, rotors. The shit is I don't have time when I be editing because sometimes the computer don't be working. So we're gonna try to if not out fucking post it and then edit it again with my phone and I can bring the links and faster with my phone the things I can't upload with my phone so I will do that for you guys but there you have it thank you for watching stay tuned for the next videos check out the finger <laughs>